Hey guys, what's what I want to do here, and today we're, uh, I'm going to show you, this is going to be a tutorial on how to pack a punch on Shadows of Evil. Most people already know, but Christmas comes out tomorrow, if I could get this up today, Christmas uh, comes out tomorrow, and this will help you pack a punch for anyone who gets it tomorrow, um, that doesn't know. Okay, so, yeah. So first off, you want to check what's in here. I got double points, double points works. Um, and then I come in prone over at the uh, quick revive to um, get up 300 points. Then you come over here, aim at that ticket on the t-shirt. You wait three pulses and then throw it. And if you throw it at the right time, then you could get the ticket to fall down okay and you get free 500 points but I did not get it there okay and now next you want to go right here um, I sh you break that thing you do a long shot to shock that zip line up there you don't have to go all the way up the stairs you go up the first set jump over the set jump right here and just move your way towards the the stairs to shock them to open them. Um, okay, then you're done right there. Okay. Now, you want to grab this, slide under those guys. Okay. Now for the ritual, you want to bring the the keepers inside the ritual area. You do not want to kill them. Okay. You grab the fumigator while I'm, you're at it. I grabbed it right there. But stay close by the keeper so they don't uh, unspawn. And then when the keepers are in, you can um, start the ritual. Um, so I got the keepers in right here. And then I begin the ritual. And you just want to go in circles around this area. And if anyone gets in your way, since it's only round one still, you could just knife them. Um, but try not to kill any zombies if you can, but if you really need to, then you should. Uh, as you see, I got hit a couple times, but I eventually get out of it. Um, so now you grab the worm, and now you should not have enough you shouldn't have enough to buy I buy the canal district because that's probably the hardest uh, uh, ritual to do so I don't have enough so go get some money by shooting some zombies you want to shoot three times in the leg and then you want to knife them once that should give you money and then once you have enough buy this canal district okay guys so I bought the canal district because I had enough Okay, so now next thing, this one's going to be probably hard to so try to keep up. You become beast, run over here, drop down, break this crate through the gate, break the rift open, go over here, and you got to make sure you shock this. Um, zip line up there, and just like right away once you fall down here, just go straight down the stairs, and break that. As you see, I have like a little time left. So you're going to have to do that fast. Um, just make sure you get that done. Okay, so grab the badge. And then you want to shoot these so you get points. Or shoot them twice. I shot them twice and then knifed them. Um, and then you want to open the rift so you can take care of the, the keepers. like, And get them out easily because you can just knife them all. Or if you want to waste your ammo and get points. But... It's not really worth it. You just want to kill them. Okay, so now we're practically don't have it. We're kind of done. Um, but so we have to wait for the next round because we don't have enough money to open the door. So now I get the beast mode and I hit this just in case I want to do the sword. And I put a random combo in just in case I want to do the sword and I get it right. 
Okay. I come over here, shock this, just in case I want that. Uh, shock this, just in case I want that. And shock this, like, go up here. And then I shock this. Okay, so you just want to, you don't have to do that step, but I like to do it so I get, um, more points. Because you could come over here to all of these. And just lay on the ground, get 100 points right there. Um... You can do that to everyone except every. I think you could do it to everyone actually, but the only one I know that you can't do it to is this one right here, stamp up. So don't try it with that one. Now that we're you don't have enough money, we're just gonna have to take care of all the zombies, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So I'm getting the last zombie here. Okay. Um. So now we're on the second round. If you have grenades now, you'll have grenades now. If you didn't do this the first round, you could do it again. Okay, see, I got a 500 bucks right there. You just got to hold X or um, I think it's square on PlayStation for uh, to get that. And now that we have enough points, we could come over here get this done but first off I would try to get some money to buy quick revive if you're doing this in single player because it kinda sucks okay so once you get quick revive uh, this will help you because it's, this one's really hard and even if you don't get down in this ritual then you'll have quick revive with you the rest of the time Okay, so now now that I got quick revive, I'm gonna run back to. Oops, sorry, went to slide. Um, I'm gonna run back to the ritual area. So I already got the badge and everything. I just need to hurry and do the ritual. Okay, so this ritual is really hard. The for this one, you want to try to you want to run upstairs and then try to find the opening that is open and just go for it um, as you see here I get hit a couple times already at the very start because it's such a closed area it's so hard to uh, move, go around as you see I go in a circle right there cuz I oh shoot cuz I dang it cuz I tried to get away from the things cuz from the keepers it's super hard as you see I got down so I can get revived from my quick revive okay um, I begin the ritual again. Okay, so just try to find the area that's open, like one of those open holes. If the first one's not open, go to the second one. If the second one's not open, go to the third one. There's three of them. So just make sure you make it to one of them um, before the ritual ends. If you don't do the ritual right the first time, you'll definitely do it the second time. Okay, so now that we did this ritual done, the Margwa's gonna spawn, and you just gotta make sure you take care of the Margwa. Okay, at the end, he, uh, at the very beginning of when he spawns in, he has his mouth open, which will um, get you some points. So I had to knife that zombie to get out of my way. Um, so I just. Okay, sorry guys, my. Um, software crashed but we're back up um, so we run out of ammo and the Margwa is coming closer so I come over here buy our K5 uh, this will help a lot with the Margwa you gotta have pretty good aim with this um, I'm just pretty bad okay so first head each head will give you 500 points then the the bees or whatever will give you 70 points each if you, with the RK5 they're easy to take out um so let's wait for them okay okay you just got to know your way around i just train around this uh junction or no we're in the junction uh, the, we're in the easy easy just 
district or something like that. Uh, okay. So as you see, it's kind of easy. He starts to run each head you take out. I killed him right there. Okay, you don't want to get the nuke. So I got a nuke. I do not want to get that. I'll take the heart, though. You want to take his heart. Make sure you get the heart. That will help you get the portal gun if you... I might make another tutorial on how to make that. Um, okay, so now that we have all that done, we're going to open this door. And we're going to open this door. Okay. First thing we're going to do is come over here and do this one. So you got a zip line up there. Okay. So zip, wait, zip line. Okay, once you fall down, this will help you because uh, sometimes it's juggernaut, sometimes it's like speed reload, something like that, but it will still help you. Uh, break that. Shock those two things. Jump over here. Break that. You're going to have to do this super fast because you might run out of time. You got to sprint zip line up there okay and I shocked this at the last second as you see um so yeah so now we're out of beast mode so now we need to go to the next round okay guys so I'm, uh, I'm about to kill this last zombie uh you wanna go four hits on the second round to the knee and then you wanna knife okay um it's kind of laggy but it's okay so now that we have our beast mode, our beast mode should be going, oops, sorry about that, oh no, okay, sorry about that, okay, so now that we have our beast mode again, we're going to use this beast mode, sprint down here, sprint, and zip line up there, zip line across, why I want to, okay, zip line across over there, break this, jump across, hopefully you make it, uh, you got to sprint, down to here and then you'll barely have any time left so you can't really do anything else okay and now we'll go over here to where we broke the box pick up the champions belt or we can we don't really have to touch those guys we can just go to the next thing so and then we'll go back over here and pick up the the hair piece so I just run back I don't really touch him I t I shot him like twice but then I stopped um so we pick up the hair piece and then these ones I knife um you might die because they kind of hit you a lot so you want to go five shots to the uh, leg on this round and then just knife get you maximum points um, you gotta be good at aiming or if they're holding still you're fine that time the guy took two hits okay so now I the next ritual I'm going to is gonna be the the boxing ring okay guys so I just bought the door to the go to the boxing ring so you just wanna go down here if you don't know where it is, you go down here, going down here, and just start the ritual. Make sure no zombies get in. Well, they probably will get in anyways. Okay, so the best uh, strategy for this one is to just run up the stairs and then jump down. Unless someone blocks you, see I got blocked right there, you just want to run back down the other side of the stairs. Just make sure which does not spawn or that would not help you um okay so the ritual is almost over here okay so now the ritual is over you want to get the third guy okay the next ritual is the easiest ritual out of all of them the, it will help you uh I mean it will like be super easy and then the margua will help you get um points for pack punch so as you see here uh, I did not have enough points to buy the next door so I have to kill some zombies um, so make sure you have enough points okay and then I'm just gonna I just run back to the next thing oh, I'll see you there
Okay, guys, see, uh, when I get here, I go to Juggernaut and do the, the glitch where you get 500. Or I don't think it's really a glitch. I think it's just a exploit or whatever. Um, and then I still don't have enough. But I get that. But I do not want to use the insta-kill because that will just waste my money. Um, once I finish, once I open this door, you'll be good to go. You'll practically be done with Pack-A-Bunch because this is the easiest ritual to do. It's really simple and really easy to do. Um, it's not hard at all. So, just want to... Okay, so now the... Okay, so I go into... Actually, I go to... Back to go get double points is where I go. Because I have that double points that will really help. Um, I open up a pod on the way because I have that. And I get a nuke, but you don't want to get that, because that will not help. It will take you to the fourth round, and you do not want that. Okay, double points right here. Okay. Okay, and, oops, I didn't shoot it five times on that one. Um, okay. And maybe it's six times, because every time I do it, it's not doing it. Um... Got hit a couple times. Oh, it's six times. Oh. Okay. So I got tons of points now. So I'm just going to go over. I, I think I left two zombies, but I'm going to go to the next ritual and do that. So you just want to come over to the store that I'm going to right now. Um, open this up. You want to come over here. Um, okay, sorry guys, software crashed again. But um, so you want to come over here, place the hair piece, begin the ritual. And this ritual is super easy. Just run in a giant circle because it has tons of room. Just run a giant circle around in this area, and then you can come up here, jump down, or go down the stairs. It matters where the keepers are at that moment. Um, so. I got hit once right there. See, the keepers are all right there, so I want to jump down. I would go down the stairs. Um, just make sure you're by the ritual like table when you uh, finish the ritual for this last one, because the Margo spawns, and you got to get the a, the alien gate worm fast. Okay, so I still got my RK5. Oh crap, there was a zombie there. Okay, so just make sure you don't kill the zombies when you're trying to kill the Margla. Um, okay, got the first head down right there. That gives me 500 points. Okay, I took care of the B thing. Um, gotta try to get all the Margua heads. I train them around the easy district thing or whatever it's called. Um, I'll go check what it is right now. I'm pretty sure I look at it. Uh, the easy street. Um, I train them around the easy street because it's easy. I just oh I can't shoot them because I'll shoot the zombie right there. Okay, he was getting close that time, but I still got him. Just make sure he doesn't get super close, because he'll whip you with his tentacle, and then you'll die, like, instantly. Okay. So, once you finish this, you should have 300-something points. Um, it'll tell you. Uh, I don't remember. I think it's 340... Well, I have three, 3,000, not 300. I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, kill the Margua. Yeah, 3,440. 3, um, so kind of got trapped here. Had to go around. You don't really need the nuke because that will just waste your thing and it will take you to round four. And round four is pretty hard because they're all sprinters. Um, so... 
make your way back around, see if there's anything he dropped. There's nothing there. So now that we finished that, we could go into the rift and the door should open and we'll do the next ritual. Okay guys, so I'm almost to the rift. I'm just going down these stairs to the door. Um, so as, as you see, I got an insta-kill. I'm trying to make it there before the insta-kill um, uh, goes away, but I don't think I make it. I'm pretty sure I didn't make it. Um, okay, yeah, I didn't make it. I barely made it. Um, now you come in here. Wait, if it'll let you. Okay, and then you go to each of these pods and place the worm. And make sure you don't fall on these because these are really easy to fall on. It shows you footsteps on what to do at the very beginning. You just want to jump and do that. Make sure you're sprint jumping so it will you won't fall. Okay, and then you did want to place the last two right here. It'll build that. And then this is not a complete bridge, so you gotta jump at the end. So just make sure you jump. Um, and then you could just begin. Okay. So now, right here, you just want to train around this thing. You just want to go in circles like this. And then, if you still have your RK5, you want to make sure you pull that out. Just in case you need to take care of any witches that get or keepers that get in your way. Um, okay, so once you finish this, it's pretty simple. You just got to kill the Margwa, and you'll be good. Okay, so I finished it. So now in the middle, there's going to be that guy. Okay, it's the Shadow Man, a carpenter. Okay, and then he turns bad or whatever. That's what happens. And then the Margos get a spawn. So I train him around the easy street again because I've died in here before trying to train him around in here because I accidentally fell. So I don't trust myself. Margo is spawning right there. Okay. Um, you could take care of some zombies real quick if you really want to. Got this first head easily this time. Um, I'm I have to go upstairs and buy. I had to go back to Easy Street to buy more ammo from RK5 because I did not have any more. That would uh, this would come in handy if you had a. Uh, or, uh, the max ammo in this area over here, in that area. Oh crap! Why he, he teleports? Where if you get too far away, so make sure you stay pretty close to him. Uh, not too close. Okay. Uh, I have trouble on this next head because it's kind of hard because he. It's hard when he's right by you. Okay, I got that next head down. I just have the third head now. Just gotta take care of it. And I would honestly do the Bloodhound pack a punch because the RK5 pack a punch is not as good as it seem it would be. So I would do the RK5. As you see, the sky is all red because you just did pack a punch. Um, once you take care of this Margwa, you're fine. I missed the stairs that time, as you can see. I totally missed it. I didn't mean to. Okay, once you take care of this Margwa, take out that B. I got a max ammo here, so I can get that. Um, so now I just go back to the Pack-a-Punch, and you have enough to Pack-a-Punch. So I would Pack-a-Punch the Bloodhound if I were you, but... You can pack a punch whatever you feel like. Okay. So. Okay guys, so I'm pack-a-punching the Bloodhound, it took it from me, that's where you pack-a-punch right here, 
Um, so now you get the dual bloodhound that has like the rockets on it. The meat weapon. Really good, it's pretty good. Um, this is what it will look like. <laughs> I forgot I killed myself right there. But, I was not going to go any far further. But, basically you just pack a punch on round 3. Just make sure you don't kill yourself. Um, so guys, now that, uh, if that helped you, please leave a like. And comment down below if you want Rocket Shield. Uh, if you want me to... To make a video on how to get the rocket shield, the sword, or the portal gun. I forgot the, what that was called, but I can make a video on all three of those. I don't know which one you want to see next, but comment down below which one you want to see next. And leave a like if this helped. And if you're new, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time.